In the stillness of the night, in the ancient city of Jerusalem, a profound conversation occurred that has echoed through the centuries. A man named Nicodemus, a Pharisee and a member of the Jewish ruling council, sought Jesus under the cloak of darkness. His heart stirred by Jesus' teachings and miracles, Nicodemus initiated a dialogue that would reveal some of the most profound truths of the Christian faith. The conversation begins with Nicodemus acknowledging Jesus as a teacher who has come from God. Jesus responds in the Gospel of John chapter 3 verse 3 saying, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. This statement confuses Nicodemus, who wonders how a man can be born when he is old. Jesus elaborates in verses 5 and 6, stating, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Here, Jesus introduces the concept of spiritual rebirth, a transformation that goes beyond the physical realm. He's not speaking of a second physical birth, but a birth of the Spirit, a renewal of the soul. The conversation continues with Jesus explaining in verse 8, The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear its sound, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. This metaphor of the wind is used to describe the mysterious and unpredictable nature of the Spirit's work in spiritual rebirth. In the following verses, Jesus expresses surprise at Nicodemus' lack of understanding, considering his position as a religious teacher. He then delivers one of the most famous verses in the Bible, John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. This verse encapsulates the love of God, the mission of Jesus, and the promise of eternal life to all who believe. The conversation concludes with Jesus explaining that he has come into the world not to condemn it, but to save it. He emphasizes that those who believe in him are not condemned, but those who do not believe stand condemned already because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. To summarize, this conversation between Jesus and Nicodemus unveils the profound truth of spiritual rebirth and eternal life through belief in Jesus. It emphasizes the love of God, the transformative power of the Spirit and the promise of salvation. It's an invitation not just to Nicodemus but to all of us to step out of the darkness of unbelief into the light of faith and experience a spiritual rebirth.